it's look at the hello and welcome to the velveteen lounge kitchen so we're in color um that's good because as we were counting down to go into this our shot was in black and white so um <laughs> good we're in color um, not that there's anything wrong with black and light black and light black and white i love black and white movies but and tv shows but this is going to be a colorful one because we are making cocktails based on one of our favorite TV shows, Chips. Ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, no, you, you'll get a copyright strike uh -oh. if you sing that. <laughs> so anyway, you didn't hear that. We're going to cut that part out. Yeah, so anyway, um, we have all of the seasons that are available thus far, and I just pre-ordered season six, which Woo! will be available in June, so I know what I'm doing in June. So anyway, the uh, new Chips movie is opening this Friday. And at first I thought, oh my God, they're making a movie of Chips. That's that's horrible. It's terrible. They can't ever top the original. They can't ever top the TV series. But, heresy. I know, heresy. But I saw the trailer <laughs> and it looks like they're completely playing it for laughs. So I will give them that and I'm sure it'll be successful and whatever. But I have to put down five seasons worth of Chips so that we can get busy making cocktails so because that's why you came yes we have we each have a cocktail for you Pardon. based on our favorite yeah. characters oh <laughs> paul just disappeared for a second didn't feel like itching my nose on the air there <laughs> but now you. that i've actually told you that that's what i was doing <laughs> anyway. can't do anything here without anybody I, what's paul doing you know, know. the comments come up that's weird <laughs> well you know it's, it's life yeah, but anyway, um, YouTube Live. So we each have a cocktail based on one of our favorite characters in the series. Now mine was a guest star, and it was Donnie Most. You probably know him best from Happy Days if you ever watched that show. He played Ralph Mouth, and um, he was on an episode of Chips in season six, which isn't out yet. Mm. We have a horrible, horrible old VHS copy of this that we watch every Halloween because it was a Halloween episode. That we recorded like 15 and he years played, ago. I don't know if you, I'm going to put this closer so you can see it. He played this Kiss-esque rocker named Moloch. And, you know, Here, was, let's, let's yeah, fill okay, the screen yeah, put, it, put it even closer. Yeah, there you go. There he is with Ponch. Center this a little better here. Yes, he was a singer who um, thought he was being possessed by the devil. Um, turned out to be his, well, spoiler alert, his manager. Played Peter, by Peter Marshall. Peter Marshall. <laughs> played by the evil <laughs> Peter Marshall. He does it so well. So, he was yeah. evil! So anyway, um, but he, he drove a hearse. He drove like a, a tricked out surf and hearse kind of thing yeah it was a surf flames hearse. on the side and everything Seriously. he's driving down the highway and you know it, it takes control away from him as he's driving and anyway it crashes and all that but this he sings a song over and over again in the episode he's supposed to be this huge star right right but he keeps singing the same song over and over again because apparently he only has one song apparently the writers <laughs> decided they were not going to do any more than that for you I know. and in fact they only wrote two verses <laughs> and it's called devil take me oh it's, devil take me devil take me devil take me anyway no. that's um, just, my performance you, you just got to see it sometime that sixth season really takes the cake but folks. but the the tape that he keeps hearing over and over again which, which he thinks is satan possessing him keeps saying Moloch must die. So I'm calling my cocktail Moloch must die. Hmm, strange you did that. Yeah, so we're starting with two ounces of dark rum because it's dark. It's dark, you know. The dark magic of Evil. chips. So. The number of the beast is revealed that, in the episode, yes, by the way. Oh, yes, it know? is, by the way. Um, I believe that's uh, <laughs> Grossy reveals, you know, it's six, six, six. So, it's like, yeah, yeah. that's brilliant yeah, there, Grossman. Terrifying. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we started with two ounces of dark Jamaican rum. I'm using Karuba because we can get it and it's inexpensive and it's really good. And then I'm using a half ounce of Grand Marnier, which is a delicious orange liqueur. Oh, of course. And a half ounce of Chinar, which I have the bottle right here. It's an Amaro. And it looks a little, I'm trying to get in the light better. It looks a little um, strange when you see it in the store. You might not be tempted to pick it up because it's got a big artichoke on it. But it does not taste like artichoke. It's, it's a no. bitter. It's an Amaro. It's, it's, it's herbal. really good. It's herbal. And a half ounce of fresh lime juice. 
And then the magic ingredient. Dun, dun, dun. For Moloch. Hot damn. <laughs> now, I have... Get it? I have the high proof. <laughs> Do we have the high proof? One? I think it's high proof. Yeah, the yeah. high there it comes in regular proof and high proof. We got high proof because why not? Only a quarter ounce of that because a little hot dam goes a long way. It's very, very, very cinnamony. Yes. So we're just gonna shake that up. And Devil take her. Devil take me. Devil take me. Devil ah! take me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Really needs to be witnessed, folks. <laughs> and I haven't even had my cocktail yet. So, it was two ounces of dark Jamaican rum, one half ounce Grand Marnier, one half ounce Chinar, one quarter ounce hot dam, and a half ounce of fresh lime juice. And I'm just going to strain this into a rocks glass. How do you know that's a rocks glass? It says rocks on it. It oh. rocks. This glass rocks. Oh, get it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that's a killer. <laughs> I really haven't had, I've had like half a cocktail so far. I'm a little bit on. So, but anyway, we have another little fun thing to do here. A real stunt here. I put a spent, oh yeah, I need a match. You don't have any flame? No, I forgot. Okay. Give me a match, please. Luckily, that's close by. So, Pardon if me. you take a spent lime shell, which is just a lime shell that you've squeezed the juice out of, and you add some overproof liquor. Now, I'm using Coxburg 130 proof rum, but you could use Everclear or you just pour it, oops, <laughs> and some into your drink. You pour well, it into your lime shell. You want to. Light, Light you yep. up here. Oh, I'll be glad to. I'm about to get lit. So. <laughs> these are oh, these are from Dojo, as a matter of fact. How about is that? Dojo even still there? Yes, as far as I know. Oh, yeah, okay. it makes me think of Mojo, which is you know all sorts of yeah black magic voodoo. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, so Woo. then you just light your spent lime shell. Did that work? Mm. I think I just put the match out. Oh. <laughs> Huh. No, and I poured a lot here. We're going to have to do it again. I tell you, live television, folks. Yeah, we got to do that one again. So, anyway, I'm just going to pour a little bit more um, overproof Carefully. rum into my spent lime shell. Okay, there. That's There's a, a lot on there now. now I'm going to be drunk after this. So, anyway. Devil will take her. Light me up, buttercup. Oh, we try. There we go. Is it now we're flaming. Yes, you yep. are. Yep. It's hard to see in the light, but it's now flaming. So it anyway, really. oh, there there you go. It's really flaming now. Torch it. Good thing I have a straw because yeah. I don't want to set my hairspray on fire. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Mm, it's good. You want to try it? Yes. It's a little full, but... Yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the wrong I'll side. I'll take of, care of that. I'm on the wrong side of that. Yeah, okay, I'll take care. Yeah, just don't, that. don't set carefully. your eyebrows on fire. Yeah, or my hat. Or, or your mustache. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I wish we could turn Ooh, off the lights so you can see. It's flaming. But, yeah, well, yeah. I, we could, but it, it would get awfully dark over I there. I know, I know. Mm. But anyway, so Wham. this is the Moloch Must Die. Once again, it's two ounces. And I'll put the recipes below when we're done, too. Two ounces of dark Jamaican rum. One half ounce Chinar. One half ounce Grand Marnier. A quarter ounce Hot Dam. And a half ounce of fresh lime juice. You shake it up. You pour it into a rocks glass with some ice, and you light up your spent lime shell, and you've got a flaming cocktail. How about so, that? Anyway, yummy. So, looks looks dangerous. Kind of is dangerous. It kind of is dangerous. Don't don't Which, don't you know, burn yourself. <laughs> flame <laughs> features in the show as well, in in a complete ripoff of the Gene Simmons Act. Moloch breathes fire. He does. He he does has a whole, <sighs> whole fire breathing thing. So anyway. he's, he's like a one man kiss. Look for it in season six. Not the good one. Look for it in season six. So anyway, what are you making? Oh, well, I am making something else based on, I just decided since she called up this earlier today, that I would make a, one of my favorite characters, of course, is Sergeant Gautrer. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Everybody loves Gautrer. You know, he just, it's like the long Because he's suffering. so over it. Yeah, he's over it. He was over it in 1963 <laughs> when he was a rookie and... And on this show, he's just like, ah, you he, guys. He's over it. The it's whole too, thing. too damn so much anyway. to him. So I just figured something that, what would the man do after hours to relax? And the character is played by Robert Pine, of course. Mm -hmm. 
And I thought, what do we have that's kind of piney? And it turned out, how about sage liqueur? Ooh, Which smells yes. really piney. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't even smell like sage. It smells like pine. It really is. So. It's, it's very, well, there's about five, you know, five or six, probably about ten herbals in here, as yeah. a matter of fact. It's a type of gin, really. But mm -hmm. it tastes, it's distinctly different flavor and aroma than a gin. But it's eddy proof. So, what was it? Wait a minute. I just said that. Yes, it's any proof. But, <laughs> you know, because like if that thing turned out to be a hundred, oh jeez, I used a little, and then suddenly I was totally schnockered. Sorry, folks. Well, <laughs> anyway, so I'm starting out with two ounces of the sage, and I'm gonna read this anymore, do we? I decided to use. No, no, okay. I can go. I'm not flaming. <laughs> I'm not, not going to flame my drink. I'm going to use a half ounce of Polly and Jones cor Pineapple Cordial, which we found at our local store. This is a very good cordial. They have a few different flavors. We tried the pineapple, and I think it's a great mixer. Yeah. So a half ounce of that. And I decided to go for a half ounce of Pims. Pims is another one of those fun things you find on your shelf. Pims number one, mm -hmm. which is actually a gin, a classic. A gin based. A, is it a liqueur? It's Pims. Pims is a kind of a, a bitter aperitif is yeah. what it is. We call it an aperitif. Yes, it is. And then just a quarter ounce of lime. I just want a little lime to give it a little bit. And I decided, well, to do a little bit of heat in this too. I thought that would complement things nicely and a good, a good squirt worth of Sereno cocktail spice from Boy Drinks World, who have several really great little cocktail mixers there. Yes, boydrinksworld.com. Check them out. All worth it. The, the Serrano is excellent. There's also the walnut and... Passion fruit. Passion fruit is very good. Yeah. So, recommend them. Shake with ice. <laughs> and I'm going to strain into a cocktail glass. I think you could rocks this and it would be okay, but I, you know, she was making a rock, so I decided to make right. a cocktail. Well, you don't want to put the lime shell, the flaming lime shell, into your cocktail because it'll just sink. <laughs> it'll put out your fire, so. That would be kind of a problem. <laughs> yeah. I also figured that Gautreaux is the kind of man who would relax with a couple of martinis or or maybe a Manhattan or something. So this is a very appropriate glass for the man. He probably just got home at the end of the day and just opened a bottle and just drank it straight. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, let's that's got a couple layers. You, you, you take it, you get like a, an immediate hit from the sage. And a little bit of pineapple, and then you, then you get the uh, the hot. Oh, I love that! Yeah. And it smells really good too. Very aromatic. This would be perfect for fall. The truth is, you imagine the character just takes two two fingers of Jack. You know, and this the thing, yeah. This is a little fancy, but I figured, hey, you know, the the man is hardworking. Yes. Well, the man puts up with it all. He, on the show, he was married and had a family and stuff, so he probably wasn't drinking straight from the bottle. A bit. No, I don't mean straight from the bottle. I just mean two fingers in no, a glass. I, I said before. Oh, oh you he said? He was probably drinking oh. straight. <laughs> he was always so frustrated with the people in his, uh. in his unit that he just probably took sips out of his locker. Anyway, Frankie. Anyway, um, and no one could have blamed him. Seriously. So. And so. I think. Clink, clink. I, I think, think. I think you're out of fire. Mm -hmm. I know, but I think that they're really good, and I think we Ooh, should go nice. watch some episodes at Chips. Well, we have season five recently, so I know season six is my favorite. Um, Not well, a lot of people know. really don't like season six. It's kind of like season twelve of Five O. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, season six, questionable yeah. things happen, but I got to tell you, season five has its share of questionable things. These like uh, unsold pilots that they were hawking, which are Bad. Well, yeah. Wow. God awful. <laughs> but that's why I love it. <laughs> you know? Not good. It's cheesy. It's cheesy oh, it's, as hell. It's got cheese all over it. So much fun. Okay. So if you haven't watched Chips, you really do yourself a favor. But if you like if you like really, really cheesy TV shows, you'll like the later episodes better. If you're really into more kind of gritty police work. You probably want to stick to the early seasons because it, it kind of got cheesy really fast. Well, you know, the earlier ones have a tendency to look an awful lot like Dragnet episodes. Yeah. It's very procedural. Like an updated Dragnet. It's not as, uh, you know, cut and dried as that. There's definitely more humor. And it's the disco era, so the soundtrack is like strict hustle the whole way. It's, it's a total period show, of course. It's fun. Yeah. I certainly watched plenty when I was a kid, so did you. But it's, it's more fun when you have... They're watchable still. 
devil take me and um <laughs> and let's see what in the last season we have Frank. aliens um yeah it's all good times in the last season <laughs> oh roller disco that's not the last season no but, yeah that's in there there's roller disco there it's it's got it all so. and what any of this has to do with police work none can say but it's right there on the show well yeah so anyway, anyway. We, um, we're going to go watch some episodes of Chips and have our cocktails. Sounds good to me. So if you go see the Chips movie, let us know what you thought. Um, I don't I don't know if I can bring myself. I, I did watch the trailer, and it it, it, it looks like it's going to be like the Brady Bunch movie. Like not really based on the series, but made campy, which is probably for the best. So there's my pre-review of a movie I haven't seen. Well, you, you have an idea that it, it may well be terrible. And, <laughs> and and I clearly have opinions about chips. And, you know, that's just the state of Hollywood these days, folks. Yeah. We know. But <laughs> who knows? So anyway. Could be entertaining. <laughs> Thank you for visiting the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. I will put these cocktail recipes below in the comments. So please subscribe to our channel. We'll be back please. tomorrow evening with a happy hour cocktail. That one yes. won't be live, but it will be a happy hour cocktail. And next Tuesday with food and booze. So we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> I have to go over and stop this crazy thing oh, as usual. No, I it's know. over here. Oh, upper I forget. Right. Upper right. There upper we go. Right. <laughs> yes, I want to stop streaming.